Hello, good morning. I hope you're having a great day. I uh, just want to really quick recap on what I spoke about yesterday in regards to prayer. Uh, yesterday I talked about how prayer is effective, how prayer is for everyone, and prayer is a sign of us trusting in God. Um, today I, I, I just want to kind of continue in that same vein and give you guys a devotional on prayer. It comes from John chapter 15 verse 7. It's just one um, quick little thought. Um, but it says, if you abide in me and my word abides in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. You know, how often have you felt that your prayers were hitting a glass ceiling as though God were saying no? Maybe it's because you were praying outside of his will. Maybe it's because you were praying for something that God didn't want you to have. Well, to today, I so as we look at this scripture, I just want to kind of just remind each and every single one of us of a promise that lies within us. And it says, if you abide in me, if we abide in Jesus, and he says, my words, Jesus' words abide in us, we will ask what we desire and it shall be done. That's a promise right there. You know, I guess another way that we can put it is, is if you live your life in Jesus and his word lives inside of our hearts, you can ask whatever you like and it will come true for you. It almost sounds like, oh my goodness, it's too good to be true. And we're almost beginning to start focusing on, well, what can I pray for? Can I pray for that house? Can I pray for that car? But I believe that if we focus on that part of it, we're actually missing the entire point of this text. It says, but let, let's also remember the condition in here as we're talking about this. It says, if you live your life in me and my words live in your heart. You know, if we have Jesus inside of our lives, if we have Jesus inside of our hearts, we have Jesus inside of our daily activity in which we take part in, guess what? Our prayers will begin to look a little bit different. Our prayers won't necessarily be about what can we obtain, but I honestly believe that our prayers will begin to transform and begin to us to think and behave as though God wants us to think and behave. Um, you know, it, it says, you know, it, you know, I read somewhere one, one time, it says your prayers won't necessarily be the same as they were before. As you get in sync with the will of God, you will see that prayer is not getting God to do what you want him to do, but prayer is getting you to do what God wants you to do. It says each and one of us will discover the important truth that prayer is not bending God our way. It is bending us his way. And then you just, we just might begin to see the prayers that we pray begin to be answered. Well, let's, let, let's go ahead and close in prayer. Dear Father in heaven, we come to you right now. And God, we just say thank you. We say thank you um, for this promise. But Lord, I also pray, Lord, that we would all get on the same page as you, Lord. We would get in sync with what it is that you want us to do and how you want us to behave and the difference that you want us to make within our communities, within our homes. And God, we just say thank you and I pray that everyone have a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, just, just a really quick reminder um, about prayer tomorrow. We uh, have the prayer lines going. Um, you can join us at 7 a.m. or uh, and or and at 7 p.m tomorrow and um, you can actually get more information about that at our website if you like just click on the 40 days of purpose there's the number there and the um, code that you can type in and also um, some more information about some of the other things that we have going on this week and the upcoming weeks as we do 40 days of communion hope you have a great day and uh, hopefully get to hear you tomorrow on the prayer call bye